Welcome to a video where I showcase 5 things that you may or may not know. Some of these facts may be in plain sight to some, but for others, this may be the very first time that you hear about them. Let's get started. Starting off relatively simple, did you know? As pointed out by readily available Chomper, you can equip certain cosmetics that are normally incompatible with Iron Citron's helmet. How this is done, is by equipping the dragon skin tattoo, selecting the cosmetic of your choice that you wish to put on, and then put the helmet back on. This will cause the cosmetic you put on, to clip through the helmet, and be on Iron Citron, even though you're normally not allowed to. This is likely an oversight on PopCap's behalf, where one of the checks doesn't apply properly, and thus, allows the face cosmetics to be applied, even with the helmet on. Secondly, did you also know, within the internal data of Garden Warfare 2, there are several files that hint at an unused feature of the P Gatling that suggested that at one point during the game's development, the ability was supposed to overheat from excessive usage. However, we can tell that this functionality was actually implemented within the game at some point, as by going onto the official Plants vs Zombies YouTube channel. Looking at this video right here, at approximately 6 minutes 20 seconds in, we can see this. Now here's the pea shooter using the Gatling attack again. You see a cluster of zombies over there surrounded by healing stations. It's gonna be hard to take As you out. can see, the P Gatling ability clearly overheats, and the player is forced to stop using it for a temporary period of time. This was likely scrapped midway through development, due to the fact that having to manage an overheat system, on top of an ammo system, might have proven to be far too challenging for the player, though this is entirely up to speculation. Up next, did you know? We all know that Zen Cactus's perk, is having 5 shots per clip that increase in power with each subsequent shot. What you may not know however, is that midway through the game's development, she was supposed to be yet another armored variant within the Cactus class, which would have made her the third. The evidence for this claim can be found within the files of the game, as alongside the data for each of her bullets, there is also data related to both a health and speed modifier, which armored variants usually get. Why PopCap wanted a fucking third armored variant within the same class is not clear at all, though it could be that, or maybe Jade was intended to be the second originally, and Petrified weren't meant to be armored at all, though it's once again entirely up to speculation. Coming up, did you also know? As pointed out by Noob Master Pro, normally in the Gardens and Graveyards game mode, the zombies are given a table of AI zombies that they can summon, as shown on screen right here. In private play, the bots are given the same exact table, except for some reason. Their table also includes the super fan imps, which are nowhere on the player's table. This is likely an oversight, since these imps are often seen in ops, and were likely not intended for game modes like turf, but forgot to take it out of the bot's AI summon table, which allows them to still summon them within private play. Lastly, heading over to BFN, did you know? As pointed out by CNU, there is a little trick you can do with Wizard that if pulled off correctly, can allow you to teleport any distance instantly, and be pulled straight to safety. This can be done due to a specific interaction with the pirate's parrot drone, and exploits how its detection hitbox lingers for a small duration after the parrot dies. The trick is to wait a little after the parrot explodes, look at where the parrot was, and initiate the co-star ability. This may take a bit of precision to get the timing right, but if done correctly, you will suddenly snap to the pirate's position, rather than the parrot's position. This can allow you to perform some extremely bullshit escapes, as well as give the biggest middle finger to your enemies known to man, as you escape their death traps. 